which is Wizards, Muggles and Squibs. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fantastic beasts in the Harry Potter universe. Before we begin... Still waiting on your Hogwarts letter? Then be sure to check out our network-wide Harry Potter week from November 12th to 18th. In the lead up to Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, Ms. Mojo, Watch Mojo and WMUK will be releasing a whole slew of new videos about your favourite boy wizard and all the fantastic beasts your non-muggle heart desires, such as Watch Mojo's Another Top 10 Differences Between Harry Potter Movies and Books, I'm the Half-Blood Prince, and Ms. Mojo's Top 10 Harry Potter Actors Who Were Replaced in the Sequels. When in doubt, I find retracing my steps to be a wise place to begin. For this countdown, we're ranking the coolest, cutest, and sometimes creepiest beasts in the Wizarding World franchise, from the Harry Potter series and the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them films. The word beast has long been a contentious term in the magical community, but we're focusing on especially animal-esque creatures today, classified as beasts by the Ministry of Magic rather than human-like creatures classified as beings or ethereal spirits, such as house elves, bogarts, dementors, or giants. Number 10. Niffler Slightly resembling a mole, but way more interesting, Nifflers are super skilled at finding treasure. So who wouldn't want to have one of these cute little guys as a pet if they'll seek out a fortune? Well, before you set your heart on having one, be advised that Nifflers are also sneaky, cheeky, and can be pretty destructive in their hunt for all things sparkly and valuable. Which is something that Newt Scamander became all too aware of in the first Fantastic Beasts film. It's all fun and games until you're an accessory to a break-in at a jewelry store. Hands up! The hell is that? Number 9. Basilisk Dangers can lurk around every corner in the Wizarding World, and while Azkaban houses the horrific, soul-stealing Dementors, for all-out beastliness, how about a giant snake which slithers through the plumbing at Hogwarts school? And as if an oversized serpent isn't bad enough, those unlucky enough to look a basilisk directly in its eyes are instantly killed with even an indirect glance petrifying the victim. Of the many fearsome beasts that roam our land, none is more deadly than the basilisk. Capable of living for hundreds of years, instant death awaits any who meet this giant serpent's eye. And then, if you do avoid the deadly stare, you'll still need to steer clear of its venomous fangs. Unless you need one to dispose of a diary, of course. Number 8. Bow Truckle these little creatures, which slightly resemble the infinitely less impressive, non-magical stick insect, are known to guard wandwood trees. Their natural camouflage does make them difficult to spot in the wild, but when they are seen, they're uniquely cute and quirky at the same time. Come on, give me a smile. Betty, give me a smile. Alright. Now that is beneath you. Bow truggles are usually pretty harmless but can turn quite nasty if threatened, using their sharp fangs to attack and often aiming for the eyes. They can also come in handy for getting out of tricky situations, especially if there's a lock that needs picking. Here's some attachment issues. Now come on, pick it. Pick it. No, they're not gonna bully you, now come on. Number seven, Phoenix. Incredibly rare, majestic and powerful, the Phoenix boasts a long list of fantastic magical abilities, but possibly its greatest trait is being able to regenerate itself by bursting into flames before being reborn from its ashes. It's a skill that can even allow it to dodge the killing curse. Not only that, but Phoenixes are immune to the Basilisk stare, and they can disappear and reappear as they please, even while carrying a passenger. And on top of that, their tears have healing properties so strong they can bring someone back from the brink of death 
and their song fills good people with courage. You were brilliant, folks. I just wasn't quick enough. Number six, Thestral. Despite many seeing these creatures as an omen of evil, Thestrals are actually peaceful and cooperative towards humans, and can even be domesticated. Famously, Hogwarts keeps a Thestral herd to pull the carriages for students. I can see them too. You're just as sane as I am. Easily their most distinctive attribute is that they're only visible to those who have witnessed death. But they also have the useful ability to understand exactly where it is their rider needs to go. They can travel at speed, and they have an impeccable sense of direction. They're not exactly blessed with good looks, but they become indispensable allies for Harry Potter. Number 5. Thunderbird No, not a puppet vehicle of the International Rescue Team. So he's the real reason I came to America. To bring Frank home. This humongous bird that resembles an eagle has the helpful ability to sense danger. More impressively though, it can also create storms, hence the name, which becomes a particularly useful trait during Newt's first adventure in New York. With its imperial appearance, the Thunderbird would provide the perfect mode of transport for any witch or wizard who likes to make an entrance. Although, they're usually kept under wraps for fear of exposing magnificent magic to the mere muggle world. Number 4. Acromantula Arachnophobes, look away now. What? Definitely not your common house spider, these terrifying creatures are not to be trifled with. They may be capable of speech, but they won't hesitate to eat any humans unlucky enough to be within their vicinity. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command, but I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. With only Hagrid serving as a very rare example of someone who they won't attack, what makes these giant creepy crawlies even deadlier is their highly toxic venom. Not to mention the pincers. On the plus side, a vial of venom from these things is also highly valuable. But would you fancy trying to collect those goods? Number 3 Demi Guys Gentle and ape like, but with long silky hair, the Demi Guys can turn invisible whenever it feels threatened. So they're pretty tricky to catch, even before you factor in their precognitive sight, which enables them to see the near future. So only truly unpredictable people stand a chance of even seeing one. Its sight operates on probability, so it can foresee the most likely immediate future. But well, why would anyone want to catch a demiguise in the first place? Well, because the hair of these creatures can in fact be woven to make an invisibility cloak. It's no wonder those things are so rare. I know what that is. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. <laughs> Really rare. Number 2 Hungarian Horntail As perhaps the most dangerous of all the dragon breeds, this monstrous fire breather proved a near lethal opponent for Harry during the Triwizard Tournament. Not only does the Hungarian Horntail look ferocious, but it also wields savage spikes on its tail and an incredibly far reaching flame. And though Harry does dodge the worst of it, the average wizard definitely doesn't want to cross one of these brutal beasts. Even Hagrid, despite his fondness for dragons, describes the Horntail as a right nasty piece of work. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. Although, I have to admit that Horntail is a right nasty piece of work. Before we unveil our top pick, here's some honorable mentions. Harry Potter. This is where I leave you. You're safe now. Good luck. Good girl. Keeps away the nargles. Hungry. I hope there's pudding. What's a nargle? Number 1 Hippogriff Gliding to top spot, the fiercely loyal Hippogriff. 
These beautiful beasts have the head, front legs, and wings of an eagle, and the body, hind legs, and tail of a horse. But you have to earn their respect before you get too close. First thing you want to know about hippogriffs is that they're very proud creatures, very easily offended. You do not want to insult a hippogriff. It may just be the last thing you ever do. Hippogriffs know when they're being insulted, and they won't take it lightly. Draco Malfoy will vouch for that. Oh, it's killed me! It's killed me! Calm down, it's, it's just a scratch. Hagrid! However, they'll protect those they trust with their lives, becoming more than just a majestic means of transport, but an ultra-dependable companion. Buck Beak even fought in the Battle of Hogwarts, don't forget. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.